Um, it, it's a very esoteric concept to think about traveling to other worlds after we die, but it was something that the shamans of ancient Mexico did because they thought that our only advancement that we could make in our life was through awareness. And once you become aware of the body and maybe seeing some of the... Um, seeing either some chakras on people, seeing energy fields around people. Once you've attained that state, the only other awareness you could have is beyond death. And he says at that point you can travel to, to other planets, other places, other times. And it's, it's really quite astounding to, to think of some of those possibilities. Um, but I guess at this point... Um, let me just run through this. The, the exercises I'm going to do were basically taken out of the intent. Um, there was the feminine, femininity series, the masculinity, the intent series, uh, the series on the bodies, which is basically the, the left and the right side of the body. One side is a, a deeper uh, flowing energy, and the other side is an actual um, outsparking of energy. Uh, and the left side is what's supposed to help us um, break through some of that inner uh, chatter that normally predominates our awareness. Um, so what I'm going to do is these exercises to bring the energy up and uh, I, I was having a hard time practicing this because I've been doing this so long just in my bedroom in the morning and it's like my way to connect with the Creator and with myself. So um, I'm hoping I could do this well. I'm, I'm sure it'll come across okay. Um, but I always always believed in that idea about having an energy body and I always wanted to have that experience. So when I start this I think about you know I'm in a field, I'm in a ball of energy and I start doing the exercises as he says to uh, basically move the energy and mix it up. It's sort of like maybe stirring a compost pile um, and basically that's what we have in our bodies is all that energy we've basically let go and if we could bring it back up it can revitalize us and enrich our lives so um, he talks about you know tensing all the muscles um, doing it in such a way that your knees are bent your elbows are bent and you want to do it with deep breathing but yet at the same time you are going to be tensing all your muscles um, and he always talks about too the the back of the leg he said that's where we have a lot of muscle memory and a lot of things for um, our dealings with our families. So most people can focus on the front of their leg, but it takes uh, maybe someone who's had the experience of doing a lot of um, motion exercises can, uh, can actually take their leg and like pull the heel back and feel that contraction in the, or in the uh, hamstring muscle as well as in the front. And, you know, doing it with the stomach as well as the back, with the chest, the upper back, and the arms. But I, I'm sensing this is like making our bodies like a lightning rod. We're sort of grounding ourselves down with this solid stance. And then by doing the shifting of the feet, where he says you either shift just on the heels, or you could actually shift back and forth. And if you go like three times to the left, you want to go three times to the right. You do everything balanced. And I noticed as I was doing this, normally in the course of any exercise, you know, your heart rate's going to increase and you're going to uh, work a lot of your muscles. Um, at this point, you are, you know, when you keep yourself tense and you're doing this, you are going to raise your heart rate and raise your uh, respiration. So just watch yourself as you're doing this. Have your water there and uh, make sure if you were able to um, feel like you're getting too far along that you stop and take a rest. But